with no obstacles daily Making all dollars equal Around so many shady ass people I done said it for 10 years 10 years straight, that's right, a decade Who a baby for life Always been about my money But never been a problem okay, I would check this out and all that I, had, top I would, uh, if, there was, if I had a chance to do something With anybody famous or out of Omaha I'd like to take that chance with doing something with somebody famous and out of Omaha. And uh, I would like to utilize that chance with doing a movie. Um, a movie based on my life story. I got a lot of shit to say. Um, there's a lot of things about me and my life that I had to endure and go through that a lot of people don't even know about. Um, the most recent thing they would probably know about is that I had to teach myself how to walk twice in the past five years, use the cane both times, wheelchair both times, and now I'm standing up walking around and people think I just sprained an ankle. But it's more to it than that. So in the movie, I would have um, Michael Clark Duncan, big black nigga from the Green Mile, uh, play my granddad because he looked just like my damn granddad. Um, my, my granddad down in Lake Charles, Louisiana. I would have... Uh, Morgan, Morgan Freeman, played my other granddad, because he looked like my mom's dad. Um, I would have John Beasley, actually a uh, good actor out of Omaha, Nebraska. John Beasley, I would have him play um, a fella named Dr. Wiley. And uh, that was one, one influential cat in my life growing up uh, when I was in school. Uh, trying to make it through balancing the street life with the basketball schoolboy type life. Uh, he helped me, you know, balance it to the point to where it was no question I didn't want to balance it. I wanted to go the other route. Um, of course, I would have, uh, you know, all my hood made cats and, you know, Boda Hussaholic, um, my man Dorch Boy. I would have them in there just for the simple fact that these are cats that I knew when I first came to Omaha and, you know, went to school with them, left, went back to Louisiana, went back to Colorado, what, whatever the case may have been, came back, and they were still in the movie. You know, time has gone by, and now look at us. You know what I mean? So, I would definitely do a, a movie with, with certain actors like such and um, pretty much bring the cast from Omaha uh, into the picture because they always been in the picture this whole while anyway. That's what I do. Oh, they come to burn you. I used to wanna die, but now I see As far as music, um, I'll tell you what. I would love to work with uh, Scarface, uh, Houston Zone, and I would love to work with uh, Ice Cube. Uh, those are two OGs. I love them. I love them. They, I mean, they always been as big as Jay-Z. I mean, they still, both of them still got, you know, Jay-Z money right now. But ain't nobody giving them Jay-Z love. You know what I mean? Except for cats like us. You know what I mean? So, I would love to do something with those two cats because they got longevity. They got longevity. I mean, if you look at Ice Cube, he's a ghetto-ass Will Smith. I mean, he, he started with the music. But now he's a movie director and a producer. Now he has his own film company. He got a, a, a damn comedy show or a, a, a sitcom on, on TBS. I mean, you know, this is a dude that used to say, fuck the police. In a group called Niggas With Attitude. Now it's 2011, and he got over 100 million. Easy. Easy. And I'm probably shorting him a few mil. So I would love to work with those two cats, not only on the music aspect, but on the business aspect as well. In regards to um, local artists, it's, uh, I pretty much worked with everybody, you know what I mean? But there's one track that I do want to do that I haven't done yet. I'm calling you out, L Mac. I need a track, I need a hook. We need to make that happen. I've done something with everybody else. Everybody else. Reds, Blues, Souths, Norths, the whole nine. But we have yet to put together a Van Crump and L. Mac and track. So we need to have that done. 
We need to have that done. That's, that's what I'm Little Prince running like the Preakness. Uh, she said she heard the rumors and she want to see it. I stay for his greatness. is amazing. And all they want to know is who he is. Okay, let me tell you what I like and love about uh, L402. First of all, um, it's the vision, man. It all starts with the vision for me. I love that vision. Um, L402, just peep the name. L402, love for Omaha 2. I mean, what's fucking with that? I, I love it. I really love it because the vision is just, it's, it's more broad than just music. It's more broad than just a dude having a store. Um, L402 is a is a vision of a lifestyle, man. It's a vision of what I what, what Omaha actually represents and what actually represents Omaha. Um, if you if you go to the spot, you'll see that you can get uh, you know DVDs of your local people. You can get the, some music of your local people. You can get uh, uh, clothing items from your local people. You get the plug on, on where the studios are, your producer, who the producers are, uh, even airbrush joints. You know what I mean? Now, a few years back, man, you couldn't go no place and even hear that type of conversation outside of a barbershop. But nowadays, you hear people talking about, oh, well, I want to sell this. I wish I had a place to sell that. Well, you can get that. All that 402. You know, L402 is the spot. And um, it's, it actually opens up a lot of doors and stuff for people. And, and, and I ain't saying deal doors, but what it does is it opens that door to the mind. It, it gives them motivation. It gives them inspiration to keep wanting to do it. I mean, they might have a cat that's sitting there working on some music, but he just think he tight, you know? And then he think that he can sell the stuff at L402 and actually sell one CD at least. He'll go from thinking he tight to thinking he worth something. And if you think you're worth something, then you're going to put all you can into it. And it's, like I said, it's more than just a store, man. It represents a lifestyle, a lifestyle of number one, man. Love for 402. So, if you got love for Omaha too. And you'll definitely understand the vision of the whole store, man. You'll definitely understand the vision of the business and where this man's mind is at. This man is doing it for us. It's not a lot of people in Omaha who's doing it for us. Be true, man. You know, a lot of y'all probably be like, damn, we just keeping it real and spilling it out there. But a lot of people ain't doing it for us. It's a lot of people out there just doing it for themselves. And they going around in a circle trying to do that. But the people that's actually been trying to do something for us, trying to give back to Omaha, those are the people that you look years down the road and be like, oh shit, yeah, he, he was doing something back then. Yeah, I know it ain't no big surprise now because you have already seen it grow and escalate. So that's what I love about L402, man. It's an avenue, it's a doorway, it's a motivation, it's an inspiration, and uh, it's a way to keep people on their game, man. Because, you know, if you got something to offer, then you can take it there and offer it to the city. I want a couple of powers and three houses. Three houses. I want to go fishing up in the mountains. The rounds like no start. Two of each whip. Okay. Two country Whoa. What should, uh, what should I'm going expect from Van Crump by the end of 2011? Um, first of all, you could expect the album. Um, a lot of people have been waiting on this album for a long time. Uh, my management down in uh, in Dallas, G Wall. I know y'all waiting. You're gonna get it, uh, Omaha, Nebraska. You're gonna get it, uh, Colorado and Louisiana. You're gonna get it. The first book of Crump will be out by the middle of the year, uh, middle of 2011. So you will have that. Um, should also expect a lot of collaboration efforts. Um, got a collabo uh, mixtape with Boda Hussall out of Omaha. Got a collabo mixtape with uh, C. Now Da Vinci out of Greeley, uh, Greeley Colorado. Um, I got a couple more collaborative efforts with a few people down in Louisiana, uh, Atlanta, and uh, Phoenix. Uh, Shouts out to Phoenix and Tempe. Um, outside of the music, uh, we're about to bring the clothing line back in full force. Um, we have uh, 
a couple of offshoots of the brand Hood May University clothing. Uh, we have uh, Hood May Urban Wear, and then um, we have uh, a kids line that we are about to put out. We started some with a lot of onesies for the babies, and now we got things from uh, onesies all the way up to toddler clothes. So we're about to go ahead and put that back out. Denim is one of the big things that we're working on too right now. Shouts out to my brother Nobel. Uh, working on some denim. Um, got a cool little plug overseas and stuff. I don't want to tell y'all where it is because, I mean, you know, if you got more money to invest and you're trying to be the key point, then we have to come to you. Um, outside of the clothing, man, um, you know, we opened up the clothing. Um, not quite sure if you want to go ahead and open up hoodmademusic.com back up or if you want to keep taking advantage of these uh, free sites and free uh, internet promotions for another year or so. But uh, you might keep the ear up to that. Uh, radio, radio, 17 cities, uh, 17 different stations. Uh, actually starting starting next month in February. Uh, a lot of play is going to uh, get, get spun around here from Hood May. Uh, 17 different cities. And you can look on the websites or the Facebooks, the MySpace, or whatever to get those uh, actual radio stations. Um, and uh, outside of that, man, you can just keep expecting the same thing. See me around. I've been off of the game for a little bit. I had to get my legs back up underneath me, walking around doing my thing. By the end of the year, you might see me without the cane again for the second time in five. But, um, you know, you just see me doing the same thing outside of what I'm trying to get you with the music, the projects, uh, the clothing, more promotion, more shows and parties. Um, we're just going to see a new reemergence, man. A new reemergence from Crump and Hood Man. And uh, this time we ain't taking no for an answer. I mean, you know, you might see me here, you might see me there, but I ain't taking no for an answer. We'll get some type of deal done. We'll get some type of deal done. All you got to do is follow your mama. She getting sick, I best to hurry before she gone. Do you really have a phone wide to get my hands on my dreams? All right, you can uh, get a hold of your boy. First off, visual is everything. So go to Fresh Minds ENT, that's uh, youtube.com slash Fresh Minds ENT. I got a video on there like the ride. You can go to ReverbNation.com slash J Van Crump. I got nine videos on there, two additions to like the ride. Uh, one by Doris Boy and Fresh Minds ENT. And uh, those one boys uh, put together by um, King Wet. Um, go to Facebook.com and search J Van or search Van Crump. Leave out the J. I'm the only Van Crump on Facebook. Surprisingly, it's like it's a couple hundred million motherfuckers on Facebook, and I'm the only Van Crump. It's who it. Um, go to Facebook and uh, search Van Crump. You'll see me. Uh, like the music page and send me a friend request on the personal. Um, MySpace J Van Crump. The same thing. Um, go to datpf.com. Search the petition. You can get three free mixtapes right there. I got the petition series, one, two, and three. You can go get all of those for free on datpiff.com. Also, go to uh, the Mixtape Factory, uh, the Mixtape Pass, and um, shit, I think it's like, man, it's like four or five different mixtape websites. But I'll tell you what, you can get all that information at reverbnation.com slash jvancrop. It's a whole list of uh, places where you can get my CDs for free. So go ahead and do it. Buy it. And they got $2 uh, packs of five uh, blank CDs at Walgreens. And go, <laughs> go and get them shits, go online, look my shit up, and then buy you some CDs for free. It's all good. $2. That's even less than what I would charge. So I'll let you work. Now I see my person. They call me absurd, but I believe I'm touching people through some words. A lot of those I reach never gave a damn about me in the first Shout outs. <clears throat> let me go from big to small. Shout out Omaha, Nebraska. Shout out uh, Denver, Colorado. Greeley, Colorado. Uh, Fort Collins. I got love all up and down I-25 pipeline. It's crazy up there. I love Colorado. It's one of the best places on earth to me. And uh, that's where I am. I'm like Richie on Harlem Nights. I ain't never come home. Um, Lake Charles, Louisiana, New Orleans, and Baton Rouge. Kim folk down there. What's happening? Um, 
We got to give a shout out to Texas, uh, G Wall down in uh, in Dallas, um, Virginia, Virginia. We got the hood made flag in Virginia. Lek one, the greatest producer. Nobody is giving props to because y'all ain't heard enough of them yet. Uh, Virginia's holding it down. VA Beach, Norfolk, even Richmond, where I got my damn legs broke by the car, but still had love for your boy when I was there. And even the nurses in the Richmond Hospital was, you know, it was, yeah, it was real nice. Everything was cool. It worked out great. Um, <laughs> I got, got to give a shout out to Hood May, hustling over obstacles daily, making all dollars equal. Uh, Young No, Papadopoulos, um, C Now Da Vinci, Animosity, aka DJ Prana. Uh, got to give it up to Boulder Hustle Holly, my man Big Will, aka Boy 5000. Uh, Feliz Navidad, that's what it is, it ain't no holiday, but it's the, it's the man, it, it, it's a holiday if he's in the room. Um, got to give it up to Poetic, my man Poetic, much love up there in Greeley, Colorado, he's holding it down. Analyzer Slim, an internet, uh, interstate Ike, uh, out of Denver, repping the elite. Um, you know, my man no good to sell. Hey man, that's one of the hard working cats out here, man, and ain't nobody really paying attention to him. He really got a lot of talent. So if you see him and you just say you just see him on the mic, don't say, Oh, I ain't got to pay no attention to him. Pay attention. Listen to him. Listen to him, man. He is it's more than music. He got he got some stuff to say. Uh shouts out to Plumpy. Plumpy Navarrette, I'm from Colorado. Uh Blitz, what's happening, man? Uh Stucco Writers in the building. Uh, the fucking uh, miniature billionaire boys club up there in Colorado doing the big, and um, you know, a wall, Trey, hood man, hustling over high school daily, making all dollars equal. Let's get it. Doors boy, L four o two, you got to get that up. Give it up to young uh, King Wet man, King Wet and those one boys. Um, shit, super, super. Moles, come through with the tracks, Moles. Quit fucking around. Uh, Velo, uh, exclusive sounds, and I'm out. If, uh, if I forgot anybody, complain to me online. Therefore, you can see everything that I got to offer while you complaining, and you can leave there fully vented and fully educated. Let me tell you what. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you what I think about my top 10. I don't know that cat, but I'm hearing of him. The album called Talk of the Streets, so it really must be the Talk of the Streets, because I don't know him. But I'm hearing that they shit is nice. So, um, that's hot. The J-Top, that's another cat that I've been hearing about and don't know him. So, I'm up in Denver.